So I love Psalm 2, and I don't think there's really any need for me to break it apart, um, because it almost is just one idea. Um, it, it starts out by saying, why do the nations uh, you know, rage against God, resist against God, try to break bonds and be their own God? And, and God's reaction is that he laughs. You know, God laughs at, at individuals and groups of people that think that they can just shake God's rule over them. Um, and then it says that God will put his, his anointed one in place, which is Jesus, to give him the nations. And that's going to happen in the future, I believe, through a literal thousand-year reign in this world. And then he's going to destroy this world, this universe, and create a new heaven and a new earth. And Christ will rule that for forever. And I believe the purpose of the thousand-year reign is just to show us what it could have been like for us if we would have all submitted to Christ before he came back. And then it goes on to say that you should kiss him, you know, just in other words, accept him and 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 honor him or else you're going to perish. And, and it's good for everyone that that has their hope in Jesus. And so what we can get from this is is a few points like so many people want to be their own God. So many people want to fight God's commands and God's decrees and the way he he does things. There's this this eagerness in some people to just be independent from God. And it's horrible. And it's it's in vain. You're, you can't do it. I mean, the, as close as you can get, you know, of course it looks like some people can disobey God now, but there's a reckoning. And then there's hell. I mean, he's, he's going to throw people in hell that just refuse to do things his way. Uh, it doesn't matter if you, if, if you do what you think is right and what you think is a moral if you live what you think is a moral life, if you want to shake the leadership of Christ and God, uh, you're in sin and, and hell is waiting for you. And so God laughs at it because he sees how weak we are. How dependent on God are we? And, and you know, we have to live in the right temperature. We're such frail beings. We need oxygen. We need food. Um, you know, we are so frail, and you've got these frail little bitty beings that are are just nothing compared to this universe he made trying to shake God's leadership. And then it says that he is determined and nobody can stop him putting Jesus in rule. And then you've got two options. You can either continue to re resist Christ and God and his ways, and you're going to perish for it which we've, we've talked about before, death is separation. You're going to be separated from God and his good things forever. Or you can have your hope in him and you're safe. And I'm safe because I love his leadership. I yearn for it in my own life. I, I hate it when I mess up or whenever I go through times and I, I knew what to do and I didn't do it. I, I, I don't like that. I, I want to do things God's way. I look forward to him ruling this world and I look forward to him ruling the new heaven and the new earth. So you've got to make that decision because if you resist him, it's in vain and you're going to perish. But if you hope in him, it is not in vain and you will enjoy security and you'll enjoy his leadership and his, his safety forever.